Hi everyone, I'm Roseanne from Nailers and today we're going to be looking at the HorsePal which is an innovative new sensor from Horseware that lets you see your horse's temperature and humidity so you can decide if they're wearing the correct rug or which rug you should be putting on for the rest of the day. So I'll talk you through what you get in the package and then I'll show you how you put it on your rug and also how to use the app as well. So in the packet you will get this box which contains the sensor and you'll also get this bag with some accessories as well to help you put it on. So we'll have a look in the box that you get. So in this box if you can see this is the sensor itself um, so it's nice and small square you get the back to go on it because obviously you need to put the battery in um, and it's designed so that it doesn't restrict your horse's movement so it's as small as possible and it's, uh, it lays nice and flat because of the shape it lays against your horse so it doesn't restrict them in any way. In here you'll also notice we've got some ways of attaching the rug so you've got a little keyring type ring here and you've also got a little lanyard that you get for free as well um, that you can use to attach it so we'll talk about those in a minute and in this other bag that you get we've got some other goodies so in here we've got some protected bags so this one in particular is used if you're going to stick the rug stick the sensor directly onto your rug um, and we've got another one if you're not going to stick it on directly but you're going to use the ring or the lanyard you get this nice little protective case as well um, this just keeps your sensor nice and dry and clean um, so it's not covered in dirt so it can get a nice accurate reading um, and it just generally protects the sensor and then in here as well we've also got so what this does if you imagine the sensor is in your square and you stick this around the square and then you can stick it onto the rug directly on the inside of the rug so it stays nice in place um, and this is a really strong sticker it won't come off if the rug um, gets wet or anything like that so it holds it nice and secure in place for you of course you've also got your battery that comes in it this is nice and simple you would take it out of the packaging pop it in the back put the back on um, and then it's on for you although there is a power button if you ever need to turn it off or on again so let's take a look at the sensor itself and how you can put it on the rug so obviously I said before it's nice and small um, ideally you want it to sit around here on your rug um, so they, they say as a guess about 20 to 25 centimeters across and 5 to 10 centimeters down um, but it does depend which method you use for putting it on so if you want to use your lanyard, um, which is a nice easy way if you want to transfer one sensor between rugs, um, you're going to need some sort of a loop. This rug handily has one for a detachable neck, um, but you might have it for a rug liner or something like that. If your rug already has loops on, you just pop the lanyard through there and then through this handy hole, which is the perfect size for the lanyard, and you attach it on there so it will hang just below one of the loops and you can have it sit exactly where it should be on your horse so you want it to sit a bit behind the shoulder and down from the wither so it can lay nice and flat and um, so it gets nice accurate reading from your horse's skin um, as you can see here you've got the front facing outwards which is important you want to have that facing out and not facing your horse and as I mentioned before if you can see nice and close up you've got a little power button so if you ever need to turn it off and on again you can do uh, just by pressing and holding the little button um, if your rug doesn't have any loops, which a lot of them don't, you may want to use the little key ring that we showed you before. So that involves piercing a small hole in the line, lining of the rug. Obviously don't pierce the outside of the rug because then it won't be waterproof anymore. Um, but it's literally just a really tiny small hole, like a little pinprick that you can fit the ring through. And again, that can then go, this will go in the little small bag that we saw before, the nice protective bag which you can loop the ring through and it just sits and hangs nicely where it should do. Um, again, just make sure you measure so that you get the right place on the horse. But you can do that before you actually start putting the hole in. And the final option is the sticker, as I showed you before. So if you imagine you've got your square and you're going to stick that onto the rug where you want it. So say if it's round here, you put that on, get your two stickers around the square and you need to leave that for a few hours, so around four hours, 
um, in the dry so that it can stick on properly. Um, they also say obviously your rug needs to be clean and dry before you try and put the stickers on otherwise they won't really stick properly. Um, so just make sure that you give it a good brush off, got any dirt off and let it dry before you try and do that. So what I'll do now is just show you the actual app itself because obviously this is all well and good but you need to know the temperature of your horse and you can't get that from the sensor. So I have this set up on my own phone because I have one of these myself. So I'll just show you, you'll have to excuse the cracked screen. This is what happens when you have horses in your life. So this is the main dashboard of the Horsepower app. As you can see, I have set up one stable and one horse. Um, what I'll do first is just click on the stable. So I called it the Nailer stable, just for fun. Um, so you can put in all of your stable details, including your address um, and contact number and everything, so that you can get directions straight from the app. It opens your, apps up, your maps up. So for example, that'll take me straight to my stables if I wanted to do that. Otherwise, you can call your stables. You can see all the horses that are on the stables. Um, I just have my one at the moment. And you can have people as well. So if you want to add your owner on there, your vet, you can put all their contact details in and any other information you want to hold about that person. Um, you can put notes about when you next need to see the vet or the dentist, for example. So that's really handy. And then obviously you've got your horses. So this is my horse, Patch. We're going to pretend for today that um, the horse behind me is Patch. Obviously, I haven't got my sensor attached to this horse. Um, but you'll see here the overview that you're given. Um, so that gives you a brief idea from the last reading of your horse's temperature and humidity levels. So if these numbers are green, oh, sorry, then that means they are within the horse's comfort zones. So obviously my horse was at a comfortable temperature when this was red, but the humidity levels were slightly high. Um, if you want to, you can alter the comfort levels for your horse if you know that they're specifically more comfortable at certain temperatures, etc. On your horse, when you set it up, you can put all of their details in. So you can put all of their name, their breeding, their passport number, FEI number, everything you could think to need. So you've got it all in one place. Um, from there, you can also do your breeding. So you can have a whole family tree set up. Um, and you can also invite people to be involved with your horse. So for, for example, you might invo invite your yard owner to the app so that they can also monitor your horse and they can, uh, they can have all their details saved in here. You can have documents too, which is really useful to keep everything in one place. Um, I've just got a passport on here, but you could put all sorts on there, whether it's competition results, so you can keep track of how well you're doing, stuff like that. And my favorite thing on the whole app is this, the Rug Advisor. So this uses weather forecasts and it uses um, lots of different information about horses and what temperatures they're comfortable in to predict what weight of rug you should be using. So as you can see, we're not having very good weather at the minute. It's very wet, um, but based on the temperature, it told me that today, although it's wet, it's actually quite hot. So it should be too hot in a lightweight. So it's gone for a flyweight. But as you can see throughout the week, it's actually telling me lightweight rug because it's going to rain and it's going to be a bit chilly. Um, and it splits it day and night because obviously if your horse is turned out at night they're going to want a different rug on most of the time. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely brilliant in terms of in the morning I don't have to think, oh like what's the weather going to be like, will she be too hot in this or that, I can go on my rug predictor and I can just think okay lightweight rug, throw it on and off I go. So obviously you've got your sensor on, if you want to update um, your sensors reading you can click monitor horses so you can be if you're within a certain distance to your horse you can click that and it'll do a check obviously mine's not set up on this horse so it won't find it unfortunately um, but you can check so you can make it update itself and you get all the information to your phone really quickly so yeah that's the horsepower app and the sensor and the great thing is it is actually really reasonably priced as well um, so considering all the information it gives you um, it's actually really well priced. I've just actually got one more feature to show you actually. So once you've been gathering data for a little while, um, you can get these graphs put together. 
So these will show your horse's temperature and humidity, but over a period of time. So this can help you to decide if they were in their comfort zones, and if so, what was the temperature like? What was the weather like? So in the long run, you can actually start to make the decision yourself. And in the morning, you might not need to check your app. You can be like, okay, she only needs a fly rug or she only needs a lightweight or she needs a heavy weight. So you can do that all yourself because you'll get to really know your own horse and what's comfortable for them. So yeah, that's the Horse Pal Sensor and app. If you want any more information, just visit our blog or have a look on our website where you can actually buy that um, sensor online or visit one of our stores to pick one up for yourself.